Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can animate this popular trending thread logo animation. If you are familiar with Instagram, Instagram just unveiled a platform called Threads and it is intended to compete with the Twitter but I pretty love the way they animated the logo and I want to show you how quickly you can do this style in Adobe After Effects. So support me on this one. Hit the like button on the video. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then hit the notification bell. Come back and then let's get into it. So back now in Adobe After Effects, I am starting this animation with a basic composition of 1080p. I made it 10 seconds for the duration and uh, 30 frames per second. So, and I have the logo right here imported, but I'm not going to use the logo directly because with this style of animation, you need a lot of control because you have an overlapping line right here. So to do this with brush, that will not be very smooth. So I want to show you how you can quickly create this and I'm going to keep it very, very simple. So first of all, I'm going to lock this layer that contains the logo on the timeline. You see this key icon? Click on it and lock it. Then I'm gonna pull in a bit so that I can see clearly what I'm about to trace over. Then you're gonna pick the pen tool right here. Set the fill to none. And then set a stroke color. Any color will do. We can change this later. Set a very contrasting color so that you can clearly see what you are doing. Make sure you keep the lines in between so that by the time you increase the thickness of the strokes, we can match what we have here. Now I have finished tracing over the logo layer. If you take a look at it, you see that it's not perfect. One of the reasons why I didn't have a perfect line is because I'm recording my screen and tracing at the same time. So the load is kind of heavy on the VGA, so it was lagging. So I just went through it roughly. So, but I'm going to quickly go over it, click on it and adjust until I have a perfect line going through this. So now that we have it adjusted, so what you're going to do now is to increase the stroke thickness, stroke width right here until you have it covered. So let me fit this to the composition preview and this is what you have. So I'm going to temporarily delete this layer that we have the logo on. Then I will have only the shape layer and the BG. I'll expand the shape layer, go to add and add a trim part. So what I'm going to do is to put my time indicator to two seconds forward in time. I will then expand the trim part option and hit key for the end. Set a keyframe for the end and then pull back to zero and set the end to zero. I will hit you on my keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. I will right click, go to keyframe assistance and then easy ease. I'll select this, go to graph editor and pull in my speed graph like this. Then go back. So now you will have this. Beautiful. But on the original logo, this animation wasn't like this. They only have the gray there and then have the white come through the gray. But I'm going to use this to reveal the entire logo first before I reveal the other animation. So I'm going to set this color to gray. Just change the stroke color to whatever you like. But in this case, I'm going to make it a lighter gray so that it will contrast with the background. If you deselect the layer, you see this is what we have. You can change this to be a darker gray. And this is what we have. So what I'm going to do is to select this layer, Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate it. So I'm going to set this one back to white. I will hit OK. Make sure you rename your layers to keep everything organized. I will select the white layer right here. Hit UU twice to reveal all the properties. We're going to create additional keyframe for the trim part. So I'm going to scroll down. 
expand this trim path option so move your time indicator to about one seconds forward in time and then set a keyframe for the start so move your time indicator to about three seconds forward in time and set the keyframe value for the start to 100. Select the keyframes and easy ease. Then edit your speed graph. So if you play now, this is what you're going to have. Beautiful. So, but we're going to adjust this keyframe so that when that is writing, we're going to have that closing in. So, just pull the keyframe forward like this. So, let's play back and see. Beautiful. If you know the logo, if you have been active on threads, you will know what I'm doing right here. Beautiful. We now have our first animation. So I will duplicate this one again. So what I'm going to do now is go into the keyframe and switch these keyframes so that it will come back. So I'm going to do this and move this backward like this. So I will also select all the keyframe and move it forward so that it will happen at a different time. So let's preview and see. So we still got to alternate these keyframes. So I just switch this keyframe, what was ending, I brought it to the front, and then what was beginning, I brought it to start. I mean, what was at the end, I brought it to start. So if you preview now, this is what you're going to have. This is the second white layer. So I'm going to duplicate this first white layer and move it to the top. I will hit you on my keyboard and move these keyframes forward until I have it to when the second animation finish returning. So I'm going to keep moving this forward. So I'll move my time indicator here and then remove the keyframes for the start. And if you play back, this is what you're going to have. Beautiful. In just few steps and few clicks, we have using stroke layer and the trim path animation to animate the new threads logo animation by Instagram. If you're familiar with it, this is how you can create it. So that is it, guys. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.